morning fellas it's Saturday September 28th and it's going on almost quarter to ten and here's the temperature for today uh, today we're going to put the trunk pan on the sawhorses and start the task of measuring everything out and seeing how much of this old trunk pan I'm going to cut out <clears throat> to get the new one in. I'm just going to replace the damage areas which seems to be this this area right in here. So that's all I got for right now. It's a nice beautiful uh, John Kerry day in Las Vegas. And uh, yeah so that's all I got for now. As soon as I get more I'll turn this back on. As always thanks for watching. Later guys. Okay fellas, I pretty much uh, measured out and figured out what I needed to figure out. I've got a few more measurements to take. Like I said, today's primarily going to be measuring and grinding and drilling out spot welds then cutting and trying to fit the panels in. Uh, if you look at this rolled pleat in the panel along with these, they, they almost, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but they almost come to a point. If you look at these, rather than a point, they're more of a rolled. So let's take a couple of dimensions going across. From center to center on this one is nine inches. Center to the center of this roll is four and a quarter inches. Center to center is four and seven eighths. And then center to center, again, is nine inches. That's on the new panel. The existing panel, you can see it, center to center is nine inches, center to center is four and a quarter, center to center is four and seven eighths, and then again center to center is nine inches. <clears throat> the common measuring area I use was back here, and it's right at the lip of this roll right here. It's the only thing that I can find true on both panels. Okay. So if we measure from this mark to this roll right here is where you can see the silver is 26 and 5 eighths. Same thing here is 26 and 5 eighths. If you measure the same measurement from here to the roll is 26 and 5 eighths. However, on this side, same measuring from here to the roll to where the panel comes up but roughly almost it looks like a, almost on a 50 degree angle it's 26 and a half inches so this is an eighth inch that way so as I suspected this is the side that's off if you turn around and you measure from right where this rolls and go in and do an inch and a half which is exactly 15 and 3 eighths of an inch from this mark to this mark you'll see that leads from here to the roll is an inch and a half do the same thing here from that mark to this mark is 15 and 3 eighths now you measure from this mark to the roll is 1 and 3 eighths again my eighth inch off so I'm thinking that my 15 and 3 eighths line straight across and pull that out and that's where I'm going to section it. Again, that 15 and 3 eighths of an inch from here to here. Scribe a line straight across and that's where I'm thinking of sectioning the, sectioning the trunk pan. I now know where it is. I know that all these rolls, it's not going to be exactly because this one comes to a more of a point not a roll and this one comes more to a roll I'm not too worried about that the trunks are going to get carpeted once it's all done nobody's never going to see it gas tank goes in underneath so I'm not worried about it it seems that it's going to line up I'd say probably about 90 percent so next thing to do is to get all this paint off of here and look for my spot welds same over here look for the spot welds 
Same on the, on the gas tank brackets down there. Find the spot welds and get that off and then start drilling out spot welds. Again, I'm not really sure that I'm going to use this 15 and 3 8 accurate measurement. Uh, I'm still kicking that around, but that seems to be the, the place to come back and to, to section, to cut and section this off. And the same thing on that one. So that's where we're at right now. As always, uh, thanks for watching. And when I have some more, I'll turn this back on. Later, guys. Hey guys, it's getting late in the afternoon. I put this back up so I get it out of the way so we walk in and out of the garage. Uh, started cutting the spot welds out on the uh, gas tank brackets. Uh, drilled them from underneath and I'm just gonna cut them out. Also cut out a little piece of this over on the subframe to see how that's gonna be held together. And there's gonna be some work I'm gonna need to do on, on this. But uh, yeah, I think I got a rough idea. I think the 15 from this line here, the 15 and 3 eighths, if I draw a line straight across, I think that's gonna be the, the one to do it, to get everything out. So right now, what I'm doing is just uh, verifying and measuring and making sure and drilling out some spot welds and making sure this is the direction I wanna go. Like I said, this is gonna be a long, pro long uh, project that isn't going to happen overnight so and besides we got some more entertainment happening in the neighborhood looks like uh, someone is getting a new hot tub so we'll watch the crane set up and hoist a hot tub pop open a beer and get some entertainment so as always Thanks for watching. Uh, when I get some more done, which I don't think I'm going to be doing much today, uh, I'll make another video and upload it. But I'm going to upload this one now and uh, watch these guys hoist this hot tub. Uh, this should be quite entertaining. I watched a couple go. Actually, mine didn't get hoisted in by a, by a crane when I got ours. They just wheeled it in. But this should be quite interesting. As always, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day. Later. Hey guys, I figured you might as well get uh, to watch this too. So, uh, yeah, it's neighbor across the street, the single story house right there that's getting the spa. He took out his swimming pool because it wasn't, he's in a uh, baggage handler for US Air. And he said that uh, pool wasn't doing it for him, so he wanted a spa. And he didn't realize that I had sold mine uh, about a year, about two years ago now. And so he got one. And uh, so I just figured I'd video to add this in on the back of the tape. They got it all hooked up around there. They just got to swing the crane around now to pick it up, to pick it, and then put it in the backyard. Yeah, like I said, it's still a beautiful John Kerry day out today. So, right now he's setting the outriggers. He's having a problem with one of the outriggers. That's always helpful. Put a bucket underneath your truck. You know, the rear wheels are off the ground, so it looks like the outriggers are good. good. Let's see. See?
to and I did mine, they just wheeled it in the backyard. They didn't use a crane. some type of tether on there to keep that thing from spinning or some type of rope. Oh, wind's picking up. That's always what we need on a pick. up there.
gonna be the longest part of the video. What? Huh? Hell yeah. Well, when they put ours in, they wheeled it in the backyard. It didn't fit through our gates. It wouldn't fit even if they took the gate off. They wouldn't fit. No. Okay. Because that's what they did is they took the gate off on ours. Yeah, that's really wrong. Okay. Yeah, well, yours looks a little wider than mine was because they put it on its side and then wheeled it back in there on dollies. That's how we got it out. Took it out? Yeah. Uh, I was diagnosed with very dry skin. Doctor told me either leave this dry climate and get or and keep the spot or just get rid of the spot. Or 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 put a whole bunch of uh, skin lotion or lotion on before I go in the spot and that just would have made it into a mess. So Look. Nancy and I talked about it and they were uh, so we said, let's just get rid of it. Yeah, he said he got rid of the pool. Huh? Would you be mad if it fell on the house? He's taking the tree out. So who did you get it from? I like balls. Over there, off the top. Yeah. Okay. I took a video. Oh, that's how I broke my blood. We had to put a patio in back here. Yeah. He was doing brick, he bricks at night. And we didn't like the border that was going around it. They were about that tall. Could have been a wagon that was going around here. And I fell off. Because my foot broke my whole foot. I just now got the damage to go. Four weeks. I love the hand signals, the guy in the back, in the back, know, giving huh? this guy signals, this guy's giving signals. And it gives huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, the one guy liked Mike Merrill. Oh, did he? Yeah, the one guy said, nice car. And I said, thank you. Look, they are. Look. Yeah. Just going, going down, dropping it down. Net stop. Yeah. Now it's unhooked. All right, let me ask the big question. How much did they charge you for the crane? That ain't bad. You know, when Mark did my air freezer, they only charged me 300 Okay. So it's went up, that didn't bucks, That ain't bad, 150 for the crane. And they made all the arrangements? Yeah, because he told me, he said, now, I'm going to mark the down here, because sometimes when they get there, they'll try to put Mark in front of the crane, because they got an agreement with them. Okay. Well, have fun. They did my air conditioner about what? Four years ago? Okay. Alright, guys, you can shut this off.